I'm gonna be sharing with you, it's sort of a thrift haul. Howdy y'all, my name is Gretchen and I'm the Restless Thrifter. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I am a reseller of mostly clothing, but also some home goods, shoes, purses, housewares, that type of thing. And I sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. I'm going to be sharing with you, it's sort of a thrift haul, but it's going to be a haul of things I've thrifted recently, plus things I've pulled out of my own closets and cabinets to sell, or in some cases, my family's cabinets to sell. Um, it's a hodgepodge of things, but I thought I would show you guys what I'm getting ready to list and do my research while I do this. And what by research, I mean looking things up to see what I might want to list them for. Okay, so the first item, kudos to anybody who can find this exact one. I'm convinced that this is from like Target or World Market or Ross or something, but I cannot find any online. I found a similar one that sold, sells for a lot. This has no markings on it. Someone's put just tied a, something around it to be able to hang it. And it's kind of a mask, but not really because it has no eye holes. She is, um, this is a, um, a uh, mask of, I think, thoughts, thoughts are hard, of a Balinese, Balinese dancer. And it's a certain um, traditional dance that is done and the women wear these headdresses. They're not wearing masks. They just look like this. That makes sense. I didn't know any of this before I picked it up. I just thought it was cool. It, it's pretty cool. It's wooden carved and painted and I spent nine dollars on this I just thought it was super cool and I do want to hang it on my wall until it sells because I I think it's really neat okay today I picked this up this is I don't do books a lot but you can always tell who I've been watching I was watching Mel back from burnout and you know she does books um and she does books better than I do because I just go oh that's a cool cover uh, and this is vintage. It, it seems like nobody really cracked it open beyond the first time they read it, I would guess. It's 1987. It is a first edition and it's sci-fi. I just thought it was a cool book. I might be able to get five bucks for this. That's probably about it. Another book. This one, I think I can get 54. It is a textbook. It is um, a biology textbook. And I think I paid less than three dollars for it. And I could probably get 50. So I am trying to branch out. I'm starting my haul off with a decorative item and two books, one sci-fi and one textbook. So how much more varied can you get than that? You can get this varied. This has been sitting in my death pile forever. He's not a vintage one. I mean, he may be vintage. He's just not the original vintage. Um, I had a video of him working and I cannot find it. So I need to get another video of him working. That's the only reason I haven't listed him because I need to get the video, which means I'm going to open him up, put batteries in, figure out how he freaking works. So I need to do that. So that might be a good gift item for the holidays. Something else that I decided to sell, which is crazy to me that it will sell, is this broken Android watch. This is my husband's. I bought it for him so that he would see my text messages. He wore it until it stopped working. It won't power on, um, but I did see comps for some that don't power on. I've got the original charger. This is like one of the early Android watches. It's a Moto 360. It's not really scratched or anything. It's just got some smudges. So I don't know if people repair them or what. If I look up just for parts not working, I see some listed. Like here's one that 
was bid up to $71. Um, here's another one that just sold for $9.99 and another one that sold for $19.99. So who knew? I certainly didn't, but it was sitting in my husband's nightstand forever. And I, I looked up just about everything before I decided whether I was going to donate it. These are some highball glasses that I bought for $4 and they're shrink wrapped together. So let me unwrap them. It's got, I think they're turkeys on them and it's signed. It says Richard Bishop, but I think it has a middle initial too and it's copyrighted and it's a pair. I couldn't see any cracks or chips in them. Um, and I did find some like this. I mean, some were listed for a lot of money and then there were some solds for like $20. I'll do a little bit more research. Maybe I can list them higher, but I think they will also be a cool gift. I don't think that's a turkey. Is it a pheasant? Don't know my birds. And today I found a bolo found something I can mark off my bolo list. It's Fly London. There's the fly on the leather. I don't know if you can tell it's a fly, but these are pretty cool. A nice wedge with this rubber wedge and leather upper. The hook and loop closure around the ankle. And it's got Fly London logo. Heard about these, never found them. This fly London on the bottom too. I did find comps for about anywhere from 40 to $60 on these, on this exact style. Um, this is a size 40. I don't know what that translates to. I don't know my translations, but these were in beautiful condition and I found two pair of fly London. This one is actually the one I found first and I was like, oh, it's kind of that old lady silver. There's the fly and these have some sort of wrap and buckle situation going on. Um, these are a size 38. So although they're different sizes, I kind of suspect they'd be donated by the same person. They were kind of almost side by side and they're the same kind of style, that wedge. And again, 40 to $60 was the range I saw for these used. I found this plus size Lucky Brand shirt. It was 50% off. Just a popover, nice lightweight top. Probably list it for 20. And I think y'all have seen the Lucky Brand label probably. It's a common one. Okay, and then the next item is a purse. It is Great American Leather Works, 100% leather super duper soft and it's got the shoulder bag strap that can be let out to be even longer and then these handles um, lots of zippers and it's really soft and in beautiful shape it doesn't even look like it's been used inside but i know it has because they left their mask <laughs> from the COVID days in there and i looked up comps for this brand it seemed like it did okay. Um, I can't remember how much purses are either. It does say 100% cowhide leather as well, but I just figured this was a, a good classic style, you know? But I think I can get $30 for it. This is a Chico's metal chain belt. That's what this is. So I'm going to say 15 to $20 on that. Yeah, and that'll be so easy to photograph and ship and list and everything. Yeah, it's pretty cute. You wear gold, you wear silver. Yeah, those books were two sixty nine each. The shirt was four dollars. The belt was three ninety nine. It's a little higher than I thought it should be. Eight ninety nine is the cost of the shoes, and one of them was half off. So four fifty. And then the purse was $7.99. Here's another item I'm gonna be listing soon. This is vintage, Conair Cuisine. It's a warmer 
and I think these were selling for $25. Butane powered. We have, I have two of them. I don't know if I'm going to sell them together or not. We've had them since the eighties, I think. Yeah, I think they're from the eighties. 1987, in fact. So the Conair Cuisine Ultra Series. But something else that sells really well, and I'll just put a picture here because I already have it photographed and it's put away and it's heavy and I don't want to get it out. Um, it's a pair of things that look like bombs. They are citronella oil filled stainless steel lanterns, unused. I have two new one box, open box, um, damaged box. And these sell for 80 bucks for the pair. Um, but you're basically shipping bombs, it seems. Um, so you gotta ship it ground and you gotta have special stickers and I've never done any of that, but for 80 bucks, I will figure out how to do that. So I went to Salvation Army on Wednesday for their 50% off day. And I got this, it's mostly clothing in this haul. This is a Torrid, no, not Torrid, Lucky Brand plus size. $5 top, t-shirt material in the back and lace in the front. I thought it was um, very pretty and I'm gonna list it for $25 and allow offers. This brand is Cinch, which is a Western brand. These are men's, I think they make women's. These are men's size 40 by 36. I'm going to list these for $34.96, no offers on eBay. And then this is a Torrid item. It's a Torrid size 5, 5X. I don't find the size 5s and 6s all that frequently. This is a really cool popover top that's got these silver grommets and it's got ties at the wrist and a tie. Does it have a tie at the top? No, but in the back it has some buttons at the top. And this was five dollars they priced their torrid pretty high but it was 50 percent off and i'm going to list it for 24.96 ah this brand this is a crease punto here is the label i think this print looks like little umbrellas like looking at it from the top you know I believe this style of pan is called the franca it's a side zip tapered leg. I think it's ankle length. And this one is just um, cotton and spandex. It's not silk or anything, but they feel so nice. So it is a really good blend. And these pants with them retailing so high, you would think they would sell for a lot higher, but I am going to try to get almost $60 for them. I'm going to list them for $59.96. They're a size 16. All right, this was just a new with tag Old Navy shirt, but it's Hello Kitty and I think it was a dollar. <laughs> so cute. Hello Kitty and friends. And I'm gonna list it for $14.96. It retailed for $19.96, but I really only saw one other online with that exact graphic. Another new with tag item. Got lucky finding these. These were half of $6.99, whatever that is, $3.50. And these are the um, Levi's Premium, size 28 by 32 jeans, new 721 high rise skinny denim soft sculpt. And these are the Levi's Premiums. They retail for $98. Now that said, Levi's are Levi's to most people when they're shopping online. And unless they happen to know, it does have the Levi's premium inside. And I'm gonna try to price them as such. I'm gonna try to get $39.96 for these. I did find comps that proved that can be done. And it's a great color and they're not distressed. It's hard to find some jeans that aren't distressed these days. Three more things in this. And then I think we'll, We'll wrap it up. That will be everything for this little haul. Um, I have a lot of other things within arm's reach, but these are the most recent things I've picked up. This little dude is $1.99. 
It's a watch over voodoo doll. The ballerina. I thought it was cute. And I'm gonna list it for $9.96. Pair of Birkenstock knockoffs by Skechers. These look practically new. Skechers Lux Foam. The two strap cork bed. These are not leather. They feel like leather. They look, I mean, they look like leather, but they are not leather. And they were half off of $4.99. So $2.50. They don't sell for a whole lot. These are size eight, and I'm gonna list them for $15.96. These are a size 11, a new to me brand. To boot New York, Adam Derrick. And these were in really great shape. Just a little scratches. They're supposed to have that type of toe and heel on them. That is done on purpose. And these, I'm going to list for $54.96. They, did I write the retail down? No, I didn't. Oh, I can't remember what they retailed. But they're very nice, made in Italy, beautiful leather. And I love selling men's shoes now. That's um, something I started doing this year a lot more of. And it seems like you can find good men's shoes easier than good women's shoes. They seem to be less picked over. That's everything I wanted to share with you guys. Hopefully everything sells for what I said it's gonna sell for. I can do a follow-up to let you guys know, but just watch my weekly what sold and you'll see if these things are selling for the prices that I wanna get for them. I'll be including comps in this video so that you can see if I'm just crazy or not. Thanks everybody for watching and just keep listing. Stay on.